you know, I'm more like a big picture superhero. Saving the planet, stuff like that. Why don't you give uh, Fight Force a call? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 superhero shows that aren't Marvel or DC. Hold it! Uh, no offense, kid, you can make some decisions. What are you doing? Damn! For this list, we're looking at the best animated and live action shows in the genre that weren't made by one of those two big studios. Did we miss one of your favorites? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Heroes. They carry inside them the genetic code that will take their species to the next evolutionary rung. It's destiny. This show made everyone keep saying, if you save the cheerleader, you'll save the world. The program followed ordinary individuals who had suddenly been given superpowers. Whether they went invisible, could heal others, or fly, each character was compelling. Many of them ultimately had to come together to save the world from an upcoming calamity. There's another way to end this, and you know it. I can't let you die. And I can't let everyone else. The unique storytelling format allowed seemingly self-contained stories to become building blocks of a bigger story. And judging by the high rating the series initially enjoyed, viewers had to know what was next. The show ran for four seasons before the story continued on Heroes Reborn. While the series didn't quite maintain a consistently high level of quality, it still had an impressive run as an original concept. The dream becomes real. And the answer to this quest, this need to solve life's mysteries, finally shows itself. Number 9. The Powerpuff Girls As you race through time, the whole world went to heck. Who said superheroes had to be adults? A lab experiment that didn't go quite as planned led to the birth of the super powerful trio of Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. The three kids all used their abilities to thwart big enemies in between dealing with the difficulties of being a young child. Are you finished? No, but you are. <sighs> Don't you know you can never beat us? It's definitely a different spin on the hero's tale when the protagonists punch monsters while worrying about losing their teeth or trying to wean off a security blanket. The show also had tons of meta humor and fourth wall breaks to enjoy. For six seasons, this adorable, funny, and powerful trio made up one of the most unique superhero teams out there. So once again, the day is saved thanks to the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, I just love these stories where you laugh and learn. Number 8. Raising Dion I picked them up. How? It's okay, Mom. They're playing. With a name like Raising Dion, the series could be easily mistaken for a standard drama about the struggles of a parent raising their son. However, there is nothing typical about Dion at all. Based on the comic book of the same name, the show explores how a young seven-year-old boy tries to cope with and learn how to control his unique abilities. Time to clean up the neighborhood. Welcome to our special guest. Dion's telepathy, invisibility, and his ability to exude rays of energy from his body all become important to his journey. The series feels like a hybrid of a superhero origin series and The X-Files. And with just two seasons to watch, Raising Dion is easy to get through and 100% worth checking out. Dion! What are you doing? <laughs> Dion, take a break. Let me talk to Tevin. Number 7. The Tick The mysterious Blue Avenger who has become legend to the simple folk of this bus station. But glory will not distract him from his vigil. Ever since The Tick started getting his own stories, he's parodied superhero cliches and storylines. While all his shows are worth watching, the 2001 live-action series with Patrick Warburton might be the best iteration of the character yet. The actor perfectly captures the manic energy the character is known for. And while Warburton's naive nature could be annoying, he makes sure The Tick is always endearing throughout the show. We saved a president. And yet the evening's greatest victory is the friendship forged between this heroic duo. Inseparable! <laughs> the program's ridiculous plots and sharp humor were unfortunately overlooked due to lackluster advertising. But if The Tick were to appear with the same cast today, we'd bet audiences would love it as much as we do. And with the newly won friendship of his fellow warrior, he stands tall against the inevitable horrors to come. Come on, Mothman! To the rooftops! Number 6. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo leads, Donatello does, my 
If you would have told someone that four anthropomorphic crime-fighting reptiles named after Renaissance painters would be popular in 1986, they probably would have called you nuts. But against all odds, these turtles became pop culture icons. Their debut showed that watching reptilian brothers protecting New York City from ninjas and creatures could be ridiculously fun. Do you realize what this is? The crucial piece of evidence we were looking for? The clue which will lead us to the heart of the evil ninja empire? Not even better! It's a place where we can get some pizza! And since Raphael, Leonardo, Donatello, and Michelangelo were so distinct from one another, every viewer has someone they felt connected to. The heroes in a half shell could occasionally get as cheesy as the pizza they craved, but the fight scenes were so cool that we did not care. Decades after its debut, this far out superhero concept still makes us say cowabunga. You have done well, my students. Well, we're not done yet. Where's the shredder gone to? Number five, Misfits. This is your chance to do something positive. Give something back. You can help people. When watching any typical superhero depiction, the focus tends to be more on their supernatural abilities than who the characters are as people. Misfits sets itself apart from other shows by making their superpowers secondary in their storytelling. The characters themselves are immature youth serving out a community service sentence when they acquire their unnatural abilities. We don't tell anyone about this, yeah? About the storm or what it did to us or anything. We're about to bury our probation worker. We don't need to be drawing any attention to ourselves. It is a delight to see how each character's gift is a unique reflection of their personality. Although they definitely don't want to be heroes, they keep finding themselves protecting the public and each other. Full of quirky characters that don't take their powers too seriously, Misfits is a character-driven superhero show that doesn't need lots of CGI super battles to excel. It's you falling in love with him. That makes him become me. <laughs> Number four, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's Rita. She's escaped and she's attacking the planet. Ay, 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 what do we do? Teleport to us five overbearing and overemotional humans. No, not that, not teenagers. In 1993, American audiences stepped into the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Command Center for the first time. Created by combining original footage shot in the States with scenes from a Japanese program called Super Sentai, the show followed teens that were chosen to fight monsters. These young heroes harnessed their own knowledge of martial arts with personalized machines known as Zords to fight off everyone who came their way. Viewers were blown away by both the action and how relatable the teen protagonists were. The show's success led to feature films, comics, and over 29 seasons of shows and counting. While fans might each have their favorite Ranger teams, they can all agree that the Mighty Morphin team kickstarted a phenomenon. Stop Rita and all her menacing monsters! From destroying our planet Earth and ruling the universe with evil! Look out, Rita! We're not backing down! We're the Power Rangers! Number three, the Umbrella Academy. Gifted with abilities far beyond the ordinary, I have adopted six such children. I give you the inaugural class of the Umbrella Academy. A man named Sir Reginald Hargreaves managed to adopt seven of the 43 powered individuals who were all mysteriously born at noon on the same day. Although he dreamed that his kids would thrive as a team called the Umbrella Academy, this group eventually falls apart. But after Hargreaves dies, the seven have to reunite and fight together again. What the hell did we do now? Viewers fell in love with the complex and extremely flawed characters as they tried to move past their trauma. And thanks to their unique abilities, the action scenes are unlike anything you can find in the genre. While this family of superheroes may not want to work together, legions of fans are very happy they did. There's no time to explain. Those are noobs, old timer. What about my family? You can't save them if you're dead. Number two, Invincible. Good, but try it a little more like this. Like what? 
Mark Grayson starts the series as a seemingly ordinary teenager who has an all-powerful superhero dad. But once the young man's powers come in, he tries to make his mark as a costumed man named Invincible. Invincible's right. I'm out of my league. Except I've got money! While that setup would be compelling on its own, an early series twist hints that Mark's superhero journey will get dark. And speaking of darkness, Invincible has stood out with its brutal and extremely fluid superhero fight scenes. Fortunately, the animation is still stunning when the characters aren't beating the stuffing out of each other. The cherry on top of the Invincible Sunday is a voice cast that includes heavyweights like Steven Yeun in the title role and the legendary J.K. Simmons. Their voices ensure this complex show soars. You might as well give up. I'm... Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Max. The edgier stories and shifting animation styles made this cult classic stand out. I wish it was time for Cheers, but it's not. It's time for vengeance. I am not okay with this. A 15-year-old girl deals with her family trauma and newfound telekinetic powers. So, who the hell was it? Todd McFarlane's Spawn. Its commitment to very mature superhero stories was groundbreaking in the 90s. You made a deal with Malbolgia. You cut a deal for your soul. Alphas, an engrossing combination of a superhero show and crime procedural. I can help you find them. I can help you find them. Gargoyles, a beloved cartoon focused on gargoyles protecting people at night. It's a monster! Trash it! Ugh. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Boys Real power isn't this. It's the ability to bend the world to your will. The Boys is a superhero show that shows what would happen if the people given great power took zero responsibility for their actions. After Hugh Campbell loses his girlfriend due to a superhero's carelessness, he joins a team that seeks to expose the bad soups. While his missions can get incredibly bleak, the show also revels in blending drama and dark humor. Every episode of The Boys goes out of its way to parody an aspect of superhero media. But not even you could stop me alone. He's not alone. The writing also makes funny and poignant observations about our modern society. Oh, and we cannot forget the show's outlandish and one-of-a-kind fight scenes. At the end of the day, The Boys shines as both a thrilling superhero show and a stunning critique of what we love. How do you spank a soup? Come on, son. Uh, where? You love it! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.